This telescope, because of infrared, is going to be able to penetrate through the dust clouds. You're going to see the formation of stars. You're going to see devouring black holes. Webb opened a completely new window into reality with its very first major observations. In one of its most ambitious surveys, it produced a single, breathtaking image. A map so enormous and detailed that it redefines our place in the universe. This is the Cosmos Web Field, the most expansive and precise portrait of the cosmos ever assembled. Black holes can act like a thermostat in your house. If your house gets too hot, the thermostat will kick on the air conditioner. And if it gets too cold, it'll kick on the heater. Black holes do the same things for galaxies. Stretching back 13.5 billion years into the past, this image catalogs more than 780,000 galaxies. Each one is now challenging long-held assumptions about how the universe formed, how fast galaxies grew, and what the early cosmos truly looked like. What we're about to explore is a universe far more crowded, far more mature, and far more advanced in its earliest days than any model ever predicted. To truly appreciate how revolutionary this is, we have to remember what came before. For decades, our deepest look into space was shaped by the Hubble Space Telescope. In 2004, Hubble focused on what appeared to be an empty patch of sky for more than 11 straight days. That tiny slice of darkness exploded into a cosmic zoo of about 10,000 galaxies, some more than 13 billion years old. Each tiny dot of light wasn't a star, it was an entire galaxy, filled with billions of stars of its own. That single image reshaped astronomy and led scientists to estimate that the observable universe may contain as many as two trillion galaxies. As powerful as Hubble was, it came with natural limits. It was designed to see mainly visible and ultraviolet light, but the oldest light in the universe has been traveling through expanding space for so long that it has been stretched beyond those wavelengths and shifted into the infrared, a realm Hubble could barely touch. This is exactly where the James Webb Space Telescope changes everything. With its massive golden mirror and infrared vision, Webb can pierce through thick cosmic dust and capture the faint, reddened glow of the universe's first galaxies. And what it reveals doesn't simply add details to our cosmic picture, it completely redraws the boundaries of what we thought was possible. To understand the scale of this leap, imagine printing the famous Hubble Ultra Deep Field on a normal sheet of paper. At the same resolution, Webb's Cosmos Web map would become a mural more than 13 feet wide and tall. It's the difference between knowing one neighborhood and suddenly seeing an entire world. A transformation as profound as seeing the whole Earth after only knowing a single city. The Cosmos Web project became the largest observing program awarded to JWST in its very first year. Over 250 hours were devoted to scanning a region of sky nearly three times the size of the full moon. Thousands of exposures were carefully stitched together into one seamless panorama, creating the deepest and most expansive map of the universe ever released. A public catalog of more than 780,000 galaxies. Within this single image lies a continuous timeline of cosmic history stretching from just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang all the way to the present. This isn't about seeing more of what we already knew, it's about revealing what was once hidden. Where Hubble showed us a crowded city block, Webb now unveils the entire metropolitan sprawl. The suburbs, the highways, and the vast open spaces that form the cosmic web itself. Astronomers can now explore not only individual galaxies, but the colossal clusters and yawning voids that define the large-scale architecture of the universe. We are not just staring at a static picture, we are looking straight through time itself. The light from the nearest galaxies in this map has been traveling for billions of years, while the faintest, most distant glow has been on a journey almost as old as the universe itself. Our first stop takes us into the relatively nearby cosmos, only a few billion light years away. Here, galaxies appear in their fully grown forms, majestic spirals, 
enormous ellipticals, and chaotic irregulars locked in slow gravitational dances. Because of the sheer scale of the cosmos web field, we can see how these galaxies gather into colossal superstructures that span unimaginable distances. Inside this same region, astronomers recently uncovered a bizarre object, now called the Infinity Galaxy. Two galaxies colliding in a way that forms a glowing figure eight shape. Even more astonishing, a supermassive black hole seems to be forming not in either galaxy's core, but directly between them, hinting at a possible black hole birth process never witnessed before. These are exactly the kinds of rare cosmic moments that can only be found when surveying huge volumes of space. We now travel deeper into the map and further back in time to an era known as Cosmic Noon, about 10 billion years ago, when the universe was at its peak of star production. Galaxies here blaze with the light of hot newborn stars, burning with raw cosmic energy. Yet even in this bustling epoch, Webb is rewriting the rules. It has revealed quenched galaxies that had already shut down star formation, asleep in an age when they should have been at their most active. It has also uncovered beautifully structured spiral galaxies with clearly defined arms only a few billion years after the Big Bang, structures that theory said should have taken far longer to form. All of this suggests that galaxies grew up much faster than anyone ever expected. What Webb is revealing at the edge of time is nothing short of paradigm shattering. Before JWST, our best models predicted that only a handful of faint, primitive galaxies should exist in this earliest era of the universe. Gravity, we believed, simply needed more time to gather matter and ignite the first stars. Instead, Webb delivered a shockwave. It has uncovered a surprising abundance of bright, massive galaxies at unimaginable distances. Records for the most distant galaxy have fallen one after another. First came GSZ-14-0, a stunningly luminous system seen as it was just 290 million years after the Big Bang. Then came an even more extreme discovery, MOM-Z-14, a galaxy that existed only 280 million years after the universe began. These are not fragile proto-galaxies. They are already complex, glowing systems. And more astonishing still, they contain heavy elements like carbon and nitrogen. That means at least one full generation of stars had already been born, lived, and died in just a few hundred million years, a pace of evolution that borders on the impossible and shakes the very foundations of cosmology. Astronomers are being forced back to the drawing board. A single patch of sky, just a tiny slice of the whole, contains more than 780,000 galaxies. And within that staggering number lies a universe that is not only larger than expected, but far more mature, structured, and active at an early age than any theory predicted. These discoveries suggest that galaxies and supermassive black holes may have formed earlier, grown faster, or emerged through processes we have not yet imagined. We thought we understood the opening chapters of cosmic history. Webb has shown us they are far richer, faster, and more dramatic than we ever knew. This is what it feels like when the scale of your universe changes. The cosmos is not an empty void sprinkled with a few faint smudges. It is overflowing with structure, history, and light at every conceivable distance. For the first time, we are seeing a brilliant population of early galaxies that demand an entirely new explanation for their existence. And perhaps the most humbling truth of all is this. Even this vast, record-breaking map is only a tiny window into something far greater.